why drone training is so important for public safety agencies. We're gonna talk all about it. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Well, first up, I should probably tell you who I am. My name's David Plummer. I am one of the co-owners of a company called Aerial Influence. We work with police, fire departments, public safety agencies, farmers, surveyors, mappers, all sorts of different kinds of professions. We work with them on a daily basis. Today, we wanted to talk about why it is so important for public safety agencies to do drone training on a regular basis. Recently, we were asked by the Hanover Township Emergency Services Department to join them in a multi-agency drone training. Here's how it worked. Hanover Township Drone Team Coordinator Greg Hoshaw put dummies out throughout this forest preserve in all sorts of different places. They broke it up into five different quadrants, so each team would search their quadrant trying to find the dummy or dummy parts as it were uh, throughout the forest reserve and throughout their quadrant. And they made it into a little bit of a competition. Each agency was in a hurry to try to find these dummies out in the field, but here trying to replicate some of that urgency, they made it into a competition and it worked. Each of these teams was able to find their dummy out in the field in a much quicker time than somebody on foot would be able to find it. So that was very, very successful. While we're doing this exercise, we actually had a couple of things that were really interesting that added to this training uh, because they were out of the blue they just kind of happened number one one of the drones actually went down it didn't crash one of the teams was out flying it and they tried to come home battery was running too low so the drone landed in the middle of a field in the forest preserve so that led to a search and rescue we had drones up trying to locate the missing drone uh, we did have gps location so we were able to eventually find the drone so that was very successful now, the second thing that happened was one of the people that was walking out in the middle of the field to get the drone had an allergic reaction to the pollen and was actually down for the count, had to lay down. Uh, we had to get EMTs out there, so it was kind of a big deal, but it was great for the drone training because it's actually showing you real world scenarios that could happen in the middle of any drone flight. Luckily, the officer that went down, he's doing totally fine, nothing to worry about there, but it was a very, very interesting training with a couple of loops thrown in there uh, to keep everybody on their toes. Now, Hanover Township Director Mike Cruz and Drone Coordinator Greg Hoshaw have been tasked with forming a statewide drone task force. It'll be broken down into three teams, North, Central, and Southern Illinois, but each of these teams will be made up of drone pilots from all over the area. That's the whole idea here. They want more people to join in, to join their trainings, to get better at flying drones, to get better at search and rescue. That is why these trainings exist. And there are several reasons why drone training is really, really important for a public safety agency. And I wanna go through some of that right now. Number one, drone training actually gets you flying. I can't tell you, we've got customers who have gone out, they've bought a $25,000 expensive drone, and a year later I'll talk to them and they haven't gotten it out of the box yet. That's a shame, you've got a $25,000 paperweight there. That's not what anybody wants, that drone could be out saving lives, but instead it's sitting on somebody's shelf. So do the training, if for nothing else, to get the drone up in the air and to get you flying. Drone training is great because it has you working in different environments, whether you're in the snow, whether you're in the rain, whether it's a sunny day, it's windy, whatever that may be, you're gonna have to fly in different conditions in the real world. So drone training prepares you for that. It has you ready for any conditions possible. Drone training also makes you react to situations as they happen. So just like we said, we had a drone go down, we had a person go down in the middle of a training. And now when that group is out and they're in a real world scenario, they're gonna know what to do if their drone goes down in the middle of a field. They're gonna have a better idea on how to find it. We even showed them how to turn on the, the beeper so that the drone beeps, so that they're close to it, they can hear it. Uh, so you learn something new every time during one of these trainings and learning how to react to different situations is a really important one. Next up is it makes you work as a team, even with other agencies. You gotta come together, you gotta figure out which areas you're gonna cover, which areas the other group is gonna cover. It makes you work together. Drone training is really important for that, and especially if you can do it with outside agencies. It's great to train with your own agency, but it's even better to go out and train with a bunch of different groups because you're gonna learn something from each other. Being ready for drone training also forces you to do your drone updates. You gotta do your updates, your firmware updates to make sure the drone is ready to go so that you're not going out on a real call and your drone is either dead or the firmware is not up to date. So that's a bad thing. You don't wanna be out in the field and you need a firmware update. 
So those are just some of the reasons that you want to do regular drone training. You want to do them at least every month. That's how Hanover Township is doing it. And I want to commend them. They're doing a great job of getting their drone team together. They're flying a DJI M30T and probably a couple more in the near future. But they are one of the agencies that is leading the way when it comes to drone teams in the state of Illinois. So major props to them for putting this all together and for inviting different agencies out to work with them. That's sometimes one of the hardest things is working with other people, right? So working with other, other agencies is the same thing. So this was a great training that everybody learned something from. So I suggest and I encourage you to seek these things out. If you're not in the state of Illinois, find a drone team in your area. If you are on a police department and you don't have a drone team yet, talk to your chief about starting one. So we want to encourage you guys to get out there, build your drone teams, get the drones up in the air, get them flying, learn from one another. These are all really important things when it comes to saving lives. Drones are definitely saving lives and they are going to be a very big part of the near future. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. We work hard on these videos, so give us a like and a subscribe if you don't mind. That would be great. I'll put our contact information up on the screen as well. So if you are looking to buy a drone or you just got some questions about drones, you can reach out to us. All right. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.